Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, it's Market Outlook time. Let's talk about the content coming today with the MLS and possibly rest of the world team of the season two squads combined like last week with CSL, CSL and Air Divisi. It looks like we're gonna see two squads today and also the content wise for Monday. Will we finally see more SBCs? Because yesterday on Sunday with the upgrade packs that were less than desirable and no new player SBCs, it's kind of wild. It's seeming like this week of League One team of the season might be similar to the Premier League tots with a little bit of content and not a lot of hype. So hopefully that is not the case and hopefully we do see some good content this week. But as of right now, it is not looking good. EA needs to step it up, all right? That's all I'm saying, EA needs to step it up. Now again, we're not super happy with the upgrade SBCs that came out yesterday because yes, we do have the Premium League One, which is where most people are packing their blues. And this rare player pick, it's okay, it's just, it's not that good, right? We wanted, we would have wanted some sort of 80 plus player pick or an 81 plus player pick, I think, in my opinion. Uh, so people are not super duper happy with this, although it does make crafting very easy. Um, you know, if you're gonna pack a League One Tots card, it's your best bet is gonna be from the League One Premium Upgrade. There's not that many rares in the League One. I think there's like 63 or 69 in total, including the UCL rares. So you have a pretty good chance at packing blues, of course. I mean, pretty good chance is all relative because we know how pack weight is anyway. But that's the upgrade pack situation. And those were the only SBCs yesterday, which was a big time L, which people were very upset, myself included, yesterday on Sunday. Now, today, again, as you saw the loading screen, MLS and rest of the world tots. Now, this took me by surprise a little bit because we, last year, during League One, we had the Latin America tots and the MLS TOTS. Now, maybe what they're doing this year is they're kind of coordinating and combining the Latin America TOTS cards with the rest of the world alongside of the MLS, because you can see the rest of the world had cards like Eduard, Jonathan David, Cezinha, Junior Morales, Orsic, Liebold, uh, Laba with one of those sick dynamics if in, uh, with his boot was really, really cool. And then combining that with Latin America, I think that's what we might see. You had guys from the Colombian League, from the... Um, Liga MX and from the Argentinian league, like with Tevez in this squad as well last year. So I think what they might be doing is kind of combining Latin America with the rest of the world and then dropping an MLS tots at the same time. So we hopefully will see some pretty juiced cards today because again, with the Chinese league and the area Divisi being released last week, all of those cards, there was a lot of juiced ones, right? Malin, Dumfries, Alessandrini, even guys like Oscar were pretty juiced. So hopefully they juice up some of these cards from secondary leagues. Guys like Nani, Vela, um, Josef Martinez, probably again getting into MLS Tots. We will see how that is released today. But the curious thing that I have, and the thing that's in my mind right now is, since they're releasing Rest of the World and MLS today on Monday, what does that mean for the schedule? We have ultimate tots that should be coming this coming Friday, right? This Friday after League One is done. Um, and we'll be talking about that a lot, pretty extensively later in the week because that's going to affect the market a lot. Um, but what is EA going to do with the secondary tier team of the season? So I think today we'll get, we might get some answers on that depending on how long the um, MLS and rest of the world tots are in packs. What I'm thinking they might do, and they haven't done this ever before, but it would make sense, is do an ultimate tots for the secondary leagues as well. So maybe cards like, you know, Alessandrini, some of the best cards from the secondary leagues that have been released on Mondays might get re-released in their own side as well, along with the ultimate tots squad. So we'll talk more about that later this week for sure, but we'll hopefully get some information on that today as well. Now, what's up with the market? Because right now we are in squad battle rewards and these League One TOTS cards are getting big time cheap. These guys are dropping down a lot. I mean, Neymar was 11 million coins all weekend. And right now, as I'm checking, he is down to almost 10, 10 mil flat sitting on the market is this Neymar card. Now, I think some people are obviously selling this because the weekend league is up. These cards are getting supplied more with, in, of course, the sell off. People are listing them up. But all these prices are dropping. You look around this game, Ben Yetter has had a huge price drop off again today. He was 1.7 mil. He is now showing on flipping at 1.5, which was an undercut. He's actually 1.58. But uh, these cards are dropping a lot. Check a look at Depay, right? Depay is like 640,000 coins, which is crazy, crazy low for this card, in my opinion, with the five star skills, the three star weak foot, and just, you know, how rare he is, as well as Bamba. Um, Bamba's almost 500k, which I think is really, really low too. So I'm kind of watching these cards tonight, of course, with the supply coming in. Um, I'm also watching some of these um, cards from the Eredivisie as well. 
um, like this Malin has been a very high in demand card all week. So if I catch this in the low 90s, like a 90,000 90, coin bid right there in this Malin card, I literally think that's a no-brainer investment as he goes out of packs. I know a lot of people are investing in Alessandrini and it makes sense to me because of all the French links and we don't have a right mid just yet. But uh, I believe Alessandrini is like 200K, 203 at the moment. I think there's people investing in this though because he was down to like 195K. Um, and I do understand why they're buying this card. Very meta card, very good card in game. But I kind of like like the Dumfries and the Malin better. If you want to get risky with any of that and you want to invest a little bit, like this Dumfries at 80K, I think, wow, man, he's dropping under 80K. That's pretty insane, actually. So I know there's Kleiber, but there's a lot of good Eredivisie links. I think the Malin is more interesting to me. But, you know, even like Coop Miners and some of these cards, We've seen some of the secondary league tots cards rise up out of packs a little bit. So I'm going to keep an eye on some of these, see if they rise up at all. Maybe buy a couple, put it on my transfer list. But uh, again, the league one tots cards are dropping off big time with the supply from rewards. Now, I think they're going to keep dropping later on this week, uh, especially your Mbappe and your Neymar. And what we started to see also with this week in league sell off um, with the rest of the market was actually people starting to sell cards that are high tier tots cards that could be an ultimate tots ronaldo 6.4 million coins lukaku is 1 mil mertens 988 look at those high tier cards dropping a lot right take a look at the bundesliga you've got sancho at 26 that's low goretzka was 2 mil flat earlier today kimmich is 626k what man these bundesliga tots cards are really rare and that's a huge drop I mean, this guy was 700K all day. If I see 600 flat for that, that's, you know, you're still going to be able to trade with some of this stuff. Now, a Coman is interesting to me, and so is Lacroix, because those guys both have the French links that went up a lot this week. And if we're not getting a lot of player SBCs, then a lot of cards that you saw rise this weekend, like Goretzka was 350,000 coins, 370 actually, uh, maybe even higher than that. Yeah, 370 on Saturday. Friday night into Saturday, that's really, really high up, and he's down at 300K. You know, that's the kind of stuff that you could be looking into to, if you want to buy some cars to put on your transfer list. Messi was 256 earlier today, and he rebounded back to 287. So some of these really rare cards, people are starting to sell them off because they're expecting them to be an ultimate tots. Um, Sun is 990. Bruno was just under 2 million coins. He was 1.99, and Rashford's 2.3. So that's down a lot as well. Now, again, I think a lot of those cards are going to keep dropping if they get added to Ultimate Tots, and we'll talk about that later on this week. So that's why you're seeing some of the selling. But the weekly sell-off in general, I mean, again, with so much hype and just so much um, of what everybody is doing right now in this game is centered around these upgrade packs for Mbappe, for Neymar, trying to pack these cards and do the upgrade packs and do the SBCs when they come out. Um, a lot of the eyes right now are just on the upgrade packs and on the menus. And since it's not hype too, that's just kind of turning some people away from the game. So um, I think that's kind of affecting the market right now where you're seeing a lot of drop off on just the whole the whole market itself, right? I'm, I'm still looking through some of the specials here. I mean, look at this, right? Sané is 333, Mendy 648. That's a French Lincoln card as well. Lucas 378. So a lot of these card prices are really dropping off this weekend. Now, I bought an Atsu Fadi at 830 yesterday. He's bounced back up, sold that one. Uh, but, you know, that's the kind of stuff you can try to trade with is the fluctuations. Icons as well are down big time, right? A lot of midfielders there are down because of this Awar card once again. So what you're really going to have to watch on the market this week is what SBC players come out, right? Like I mentioned Lala yesterday. I forgot that Lala has actually transferred. So that's probably not an SBC that we would see. I guess we could, but it wouldn't be a League One SBC. Um... But just be watching out for whatever types of SBCs come. Like this Awar came, a lot of center mids, icons, and just since this, oh, this card's very OP and it's a very well-priced SBC, a lot of that fodder went, not the fodder, sorry, a lot of those cards in the same positions went down, right? A lot of midfielders took a hit. So if we see a really, really good like center back SBC or left back, right back type SBC, that might hurt some of the rest of the market in those areas. Same thing if it's like a right wing, left wing or striker too. So that's going to be how the market could be affected this week. Now, again, I mentioned fodder. SBC fodder is down and it is low. Now, I did a bit of a club stock yesterday and I even bought a little bit high, right? Dinez, I bought 6,000 coins. And if you take a look at some of the cheapest players by rating on this game, 84s are looking absolutely delectable, man. I mean, 5 thousand coins for some of these 84 rated cards with the good links is crazy 
crazy, crazy, crazy low. Now, I know you can look at these guys' prices and say, man, Nate, this Vitzel is 3.6K. He was literally how he was literally 4,000 coins a couple weeks ago. How are you how are you telling me right now that 5.6K is good? Here's why. We had all this insane content during Bundesliga and La Liga. These guys went from 3K back to their normal price of like 7 to 8K. You look at this, right? More often than not, they've been between 7 and 8,000 coins in the past two weeks with the one spike to 14K here for Vitzel. And now they're down so much. Um, this game goes in ebbs and flows. We talk about it all the time, right? Fodder goes down. We have so many icon SBCs that are coming in the next couple of weeks, whether it's player SBCs or the upgrade pack SBCs. I think those have to be coming. And also summer heat slash just summer content in this game is just around the corner. Euros content, however, they're going to brand that. Last year, we saw tons of SBCs. So I think if you want to do a big time club stock on fodder right now, 84s and up, are honestly not looking that bad. I mean, 87 rated cards here with these team of the season guys that are out of packs, right? Buy one of these Klaassens, buy one of these Max uh, Todd's cards and just chuck them in the club. Literally, it's almost no risk uh, because these fodder cards have dropped so much, the high tier fodder, especially because of the Todd's cards that are on the game. Those high rated cards, when we get icon player picks again and there's no more supply for this stuff, it's gonna go up. Look at the graphs from last year. So. Uh, even this week, I think 84s are the great play for the short term because, again, we're going to have TOTS packs this week. The guaranteed League One team of the season pack, probably getting two of those this week too, hopefully coming out on Tuesday and Wednesday. I expect that to be 85, 86 rated. And if we have any other TOTS player SBCs or maybe today we can have an Icon Moments pack, like that's definitely something that we could see today, an Icon Moments upgrade SBC. Since we haven't had any new packs added to the code and i'm actually going to continue doing a club stock right now on this video because man i mean these cards it doesn't get much better than this toby alderweireld who has been upwards of twenty thousand coins this year a couple times for big time sbc's nine thousand coins now i could be a little bit more cost efficient here and be getting these guys on bids but i don't i, I don't even need to man right i'm just doing a club stock again with these cards right now and it's it's insane how cheap they are so i have no problem paying 9k for 85s because these are going to go up again you know 86s uh for sure now for more of a long-term hold like the, stacking one of these cards in the club like this bazoar card right bazoar tots is fifteen thousand coins with rewards tonight dropping his price down is he actually 15k or was that an undercut uh no he's 15k i will buy that i will buy that i will chuck that in the club now i'm not a big fodder trader but this is this is like this is like, I don't know, man, just easy money. Fodder has been so easy money. And in the second half of the year, as we've already seen, and especially at the end of the year, so many SBCs are going to come out. So I'm making a big push right now. I'm really talking about fodder because if you want to put some of this fodder in your club, I think it is literally one of the most no risk investments uh, that you could do. I really think so. Whether you're going to hold it for a couple of weeks or you're, you're, wanting to, you're wanting to craft SBCs, um, I think this is just incredible value. Now, I think this card just got undercut at 15K and it's showing at 15K. It's not actually there. But um, for these cards that are going out of packs, it's kind of your last chance effort to get in on some of those before they ultimately go up a little bit, like 16K for that. I mean, okay, somebody's on it and, and bidding them, but that's not bad. So again, I think fodder in the short term, 84s, 85s, long term, do a club stock of the higher rated stuff, really, because it's going to go up in the later weeks, especially as we get Icon SBCs and stuff like that coming out during the quote unquote summer heat time frame as we get closer and closer to that coming in FIFA. This Neymar's not gotten bought yet. Wow. Um, there he goes, under 10 mil, 9.995. I'm going to watch this one on bid because I want to see where that goes. But ultimately, a lot of these TOTS cards are just going to keep dropping. A couple of you guys were like, hey, man, I bought Bamba for my weekend league at 800K. He's now down a lot. What should I do? Honestly, uh, I still think they're going to drop a little bit lower. Now, of course, this team and these players have a lot of hype. Some of them might rebound a bit into the morning today on Monday. Um, but throughout the rest of this week, unless there is literally no content, uh, once we get those guaranteed TOTS SBCs, you'll probably see a bit of a dip on these guys. And then a bit of a rebound. And then honestly, if it's Mbappe or Neymar, might rebound a bit on rewards day, but then they're going to get sold off again as we head into the weekend as they're expected to be back in packs again. So again, content-wise this week, we know the guaranteed packs are going to be coming. We hope for a sick MLS and a rest of the world TOTS squad being released today. 
And if you're grinding upgrade packs, this is what I would do. Like, again, I just did a set of 10 earlier on stream, and I'm probably going to start building some right now um, to do. But rares are like 1.2 to 1.3K. I think a lot of people that invested in rares, they're actually about 1.4. Uh, these are going to keep rising though. People are going to continue to do packs. There was a lot of people that were investing, right? Look at this two owners tradable. This is a card somebody bought as an investment and they're selling it like almost all of these are. And since the packs weren't that hype, I think a lot of people are just selling these rares and they're not actually going out and, um, and, and, you know, using them in their packs, right? They invested and they're selling. They saw they went to like 1.7 K last week with Serie A. I don't know if they go that high this week because there's a lot of investing and the packs are not hype. So I think that's hurting a little bit uh, of the price, but it's making it cheaper to do SBC. So if you're spamming the packs, they're going to get cheaper, of course, later on in the week after rewards. Um, but in that sense, um, you know, it's kind of nice that they are a little bit cheaper. So I just want to talk about that for a second too. Now, again, icon SBCs for this week. We haven't had icon players in a while. It's been, it's been a hot minute since we've had icon SBCs. And same thing with a like a icon upgrade pack. Now I think we could see one today. We saw the 92 plus uh, or 90, 92 plus prime icon upgrade last week um, on Monday. So I think we could have another one of those today. I hope EA brings the content, man. I know it's technically a holiday in America. I don't know if the um, uh, I'm actually gonna look this up. I'm gonna look up Canada holidays because I want to see if there's any holidays. If they celebrate the same holiday that America does. No, Victoria Day was Monday, May 24th, which is a week ago. And then, so technically this quick search here, this is by on Canada's website, shows that they do not celebrate any holidays today. Uh, of course, it's Memorial Day in the US today on Monday. But uh, since there's not a holiday in Canada, I would not expect there to be no content today. Because sometimes when there is holidays, we don't see the content, right? Makes sense because they're not in. So um, I still think we're getting content today on Monday. I hope we get, last week, I think on Monday, we had the Fellaini SBC as well. So maybe we'll see some sort of SBC related to MLS today. Um, and maybe some sort of objective player as well related to MLS. So if you're somebody who likes to invest in silvers, you know, maybe your MLS silvers for league SBC purposes and for objectives. If we do get one of those today, could be something to look into. So hopefully it's a, a bunch of boosted up cards today with a lot of fun. Um, player side. Now, again, for content for the rest of the week, we just need player SBCs, EA. I mean, if I'm spamming upgrade packs, I need something to craft because if there's nothing that's coming out, we have had our, of course, this is looking a lot like last week, man. It really is. We had our on Friday, Joe Gomez on Saturday. And then even last week during Serie A, we had Immobile on Sunday, but we had nothing yesterday in terms of players. So they need to turn it around. We need to see players. We need to see something hype. Icon upgrade SBCs that are good value, good price, and icon player SBCs too. So EA, do the juice, right? You need to put some cards out. We need to have some content. Um, so that's kind of my opinion or, or else, you know, people are going to be waiting for ultimate tots, which we'll talk about that a lot later on this week and what cards could be in and stuff. But again, if you're looking to trade in this market short, fluctuation swings are going to be the way to go, especially right now as the weekly sell-off is still kind of happening. But as it goes on later through on this week, baby icons, I know I talk about this all the time. I'm like, Nate, stop talking about baby icons and areola, right? But dude, look at this card, 579 for this Eto card. Pretty low, right? That's really really low. Pushkas is another baby icon that I look at a lot. And this guy was down at like 600k flat. Look how rare he is. 590. You snag one of these on, on a bid like a 580 or 570. That's a great price. I want to look actually at um, baby Ronaldo. 90 R9 because this guy moves around a ton. And the Brazilian links are kind of hype. 139 for that card. An open bid here at 1.1. I'm going to keep an eye on that because this card you're going to see fluctuations on this as well, right? These really, really rare icons. Vieira with the French links, right? A lot of people are going to be looking to invest in this stuff. Middle Vieira was down so much this weekend. Seven, excuse me? 712 for this baby Vieira card. No way. 686 on a bid. That is insanely low. That's crazy. This guy was like 800 highs, 870, 880 this weekend, and he's down this low. That is really, really mental for that card. So, Again, I love these icons because they're so rare. They're so good to trade with. And if, even if you're on a lower budget, there's so many of these guys that are like 100, 200K that you can trade with uh, that, that fluctuate around and, and sell. So that's where I would be this week if I'm trying to make some coins. Also with the fodder, we get a couple SBCs, like player SBCs that are 84, 85 rated squads. 
the guaranteed is if they come out twice again, that's going to make some of this fodder go up. Now, I didn't mention 83 fodder, and I want to talk about this to end the video. Um, I didn't mention 83 fodder because this is up too much. Uh, 82s are 1.5K. These 82s could still go to like, you know, 2.5K if we get a MLS or um, rest of the world TOTS guaranteed SBC, which technically has not been added to the code yet. If I am um, correct on that, which I'm actually going to check Footwatch right now because I don't think we've seen any code. We haven't had code added for a while, um, unless I missed it. But I don't think we've have have had any code added. So hopefully that's added today on Monday or very soon because we're gonna need to see that. Um, yeah, no code, man. We haven't had any code added in, in the last couple of days, so we need to see some code and we need to see some content from EA Sports this week, or else it's just gonna be an upgrade pack spam. Now I've packed. Navas, a cheeky Kaler Navas, and the Kloss right back card alongside of the, um, I packed Oscar from a player pick. Luckily, I didn't get trolled. But again, really quick, I think I mentioned this in the beginning, but just to reiterate, the way I'm doing these packs is I'm buying all the rares, doing the premium, trying to pack blues from that. And then basically the rare player pick only costs seven non-rares and that you can put the rest as silvers. Um, so to be honest with you, I think that doing these and then rinsing in the rare player picks is the best way to go. You can also rinse into the two player gold upgrade packs, which is not bad. And then when you get a couple of 83s and, you know, duplicate 83s from doing the premium upgrade, like Mandanda or whatever, you can go into here and do an 83 plus, uh, SBC 83 plus upgrade. You throw in one 84 and 83 or two, and then you throw in like some 80 to 81 rated cards. You get your 82 rated team. I pack 91 KDB from this. Um, and a low tier tots card, I think maybe not, but these, you know, they're hit or miss, but you know, your player pool is a lot smaller and it's another upgrade pack. If you're trying to pack blues that you could pack some blues from. So again, one little tip I will give is if you're opening packs, make sure that you submit and you have a bronze squad active, right? My bronze Scott squad says we love EA sports. That's all bronze players, 41 chemistry. Supposedly that's the magic. I'm serious though. So many people today, I'm going to show you my Twitter mentions right now. Take a look at this, right? Just you popped off stream. Look what I packed from a tradable league SBC. And guess what? I had the bronze squad activated. Boom. Somebody else tweeted me a picture of their Depay with the bronze squad. Somebody tweeted me their bronze squad. All right. I'm telling you so many people in the stream tonight after I told people to do this, it, it's superstition, but it seems to work. So put a bronze squad and make it active when you're opening packs. Now I got to play champ still. So I'm rocking my main team, but this is 100% like a thing. So that is, if you're interested in any pack superstition, do some of that. And if you stayed to watch the end of the video, that's a little bit of an extra tip for you. So again, fodder is kind of the name of the game right now, but we have to wait until EA drops content, of course. 9.9 uh, .9 is what that name I went for. So interesting. Neymar selling under 10 mil. This might jump up and down throughout the week, depending on the content, but... Yeah, crazy prices on this market. Everybody's doing upgrade packs because they're trying to pack Neymar and Mbappe and all this stuff. And uh, we just need EA to bring the content this week. All right, fire the Premier League Tots guy. Bring back the guy that was doing content for League One and Bundesliga. We need that. So anyways, that's the market outlook for this week, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.